my name is Ellie and welcome back to another Spiral Stage Lighting video. In today's video I'll be explaining about Network Switch. Before this video begins as well I've just got a couple of things to say. First off, thanks so much to TPI for putting me in this month's TPI magazine. I'm on the April 2018 issue and if you want to go check it out I'm on page 90 on the Production Futures page. I'll put the online magazine in the description of this video. I also want to say that we are now selling t-shirts, so if you would like to go buy one, go to spiralstagelighting.com slash store and you can buy them from there. And soon enough I'll be doing another Q&A session. So it won't be a live stream, it'll just be a normal video, but if you've got any industry questions you want to ask, comment them below down this video or send us a message on Facebook, Twitter or on Instagram and I will be answering them. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see your questions. Alright, so let's begin with the video. So, if you don't know what a network switch is, a network switch basically allows multiple computers or devices to connect to the internet, but not via, not um, wirelessly. You can connect to the internet wired um, via this. So, let's say you had like 12 computers, um, you would connect the computers um, via Ethernet cable to here in uh, these um, ports. You can get different types of these, you can get um, four parts, you can get 24 part ones. Um, I've got a 24 part one here, it's a TP Link uh, network switch. So basically, the computers would go in these different Ethernet ports, and then this would connect to the internet box, and then the internet would be much faster um, when it's wired. Overall, network switches are made to connect devices together via Ethernet. For an example, let's say you owned offices with loads of people working for you, and they had computers at their desks, and you need to connect the computer by Ethernet to one printer. You can do that with network switches and this is much better than doing it wirelessly because there is always a 50% chance of your work not printing if you do it wirelessly. It can also be used in lighting. This is very good in lighting. This is technically one of the main things in lighting design and operation. Um, so basically if you're wondering why would a network switch be one of the main things in lighting design and operation. Well, let's say you were a, an, an in-house lighting designer um, in an auto academy or a theatre and you had a lighting designer come in with a band or a performance or whatever and they had their own console. Well, you can connect their console via Ethernet to this. So instead of changing all the wires over, you can have your desk plugged into this, the in-house desk. So then you can control lights with multiple consoles then. So, for an example, if you've ever seen the Olympics on TV, they have got massive rigs and stuff, massive video rigs, massive lighting rigs, and let's say you don't, and let's say you got booked for an event that has massive rigs, but you don't feel comfortable controlling all the lights, everything by yourself. Um, basically, you can hire somebody else in another lighting designer to control a different uh, part of the rig. So let's say you want to just control the generic park hands, source falls and stuff like that. You can do that and also the other lighting designer can also plug his desk into this and then control the lights, like the movers and stuff like that. So this can also, like in lighting with consoles, let's say you had two consoles. Uh, you could bring both of them consoles to an event and use one for backup and use one for the main stuff, the one you're actually using. So let's say the main one broke, you can instantly walk over to your other one and then control the lights instantly. And you don't have to rewire all the wires, you don't have to take all the DMX cables out and plug it into the other desk. It's just literally there like that. It's easy to set up as well, so if you don't know, I hopefully should be doing a video on setting up a network switch with an Everlights console soon, hopefully. And um, yeah. So if you have multiple consoles and or you're a lighting collector or a design house, I really recommend getting one of these, multiple of these. These are absolutely amazing. So I deeply recommend getting one of these. Just a quick reminder before this video ends, don't forget to send us in industry questions to us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I'll just comment them down below this video. I will also be answering them in a future video. Also, we are now selling t-shirts. If you want to go buy one, go to spiralstagelighting.com slash store. I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's Elliot and I'll see you in the next video.